The challenges of climate change are complex and far-reaching. While representatives from around the world are here at COP24 to advance on negotiations, it is important to reflect and honor what is working. Red Plus celebrates 10 years, a decade of partnerships and vital capacity building that is producing real results. Protecting our forests sinks carbon emissions from the atmosphere. It protects our air, our water and food, our livelihoods, our biodiversity, our medicines, and our sanctuaries. If you look at forestry, it can cut across all the sustainable development goals. It's so important. It's linked, as it has been said, to our well-being, to our believers, to, to the gods, to the music. If you see the instruments, they are done by wood. The musical instruments is everything we do is, is on forest. So we're here to celebrate the 10th anniversary of three different programs. Uh, the UN Red Program, the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility, and the Forest Investment Program. These are three different independent but complementary programs that were created under the so-called Red Plus agenda, reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation in developing countries. Our goal is to support the country. We don't have competition, we have really a partnership working together with one voice, one program, one objective and one United Nations. The UN Red Program, FCPF, FAO, all of these multilateral agencies have done an incredible job of building readiness building capacity, improving governance, understanding safeguards, being able to better measure carbon in landscapes. And all of that work has been a really, really big lift. It's taken a long time. It's been significantly more complex than people had realized when we set out on this journey, but we've made huge, huge strides. Looking ahead to the next decade, the question becomes, how can we continue to build on the coordinated actions of Red Plus through the development and implementation of readiness, investment, and financial support. What we haven't dealt yet is the behavioral change of our societies. And it starts with the kids. For me, we have to teach climate change at, at school, at all levels of school. They, the kids, will be the real game changer of climate change. Now the children, the children's school, they also started uh, doing the planting. Uh, we, we encourage our people, uh, 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 our citizens, to plant 25 trees in the whole life. The work of UN Red with us, with Indonesia, is very important and there are some good results. Community forest, the social forestry, and the, the other one is regarding the peatland. Peatland management and governance, and it's already started to be uh, discussing internationally. Well, on the World Bank side, we're very proud that the carbon fund that we manage as trustee for the carbon fund participants uh, has now signed its very first ever uh, emission reductions payment agreement. And that was the big promise of Red Plus, that is that money would be made available based on performance, verified performance. So we have signed this very first contract with uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. So it's an important milestone. Um, you know, it's taken much, much longer to get here than we first thought. So it gives us, uh, you know, pause, uh, but we now can look forward and hope that the next uh, series of, say, 15 or so contracts uh, is not so far away anymore. Everything is at stake, again, if we don't change the behavior. It's you, me, the kids, anybody. We have to put into our DNA how do we behave otherwise so that we're not damaging the climate. And I believe that UN Red is a powerful instrument to help us spring forward in implementing Paris Agreement. Ten years after, when we celebrate again um, our achievements, we would say that it is here in Katowice that we have sealed Red One 
and then event two would be uh, at the level of our ambitions. And we have to build a movement and start telling the positive stories of progress rather than just the constant drip feed of negative stories that makes everybody think there is no hope. We have so much hope. It's the only thing that will actually ensure the survival of humanity through the 21st century and forests are at the center of that.